So it talks about the four bummers for the week. I have to do four winners also for the week and for a bit uh, further here. So Sun, Saturn isn't just a bummer. It can also be a winner because Sun and Saturn have this shared theme of work, working hard, sacrificing. That shared goal makes for some greatness. Now, if you're here to just try to enjoy things, Saturn, Sun doesn't feel so good, but it does align you with some hard work and some determined effort and pulling together to really sacrifice and do something great because Sun is in its own sign of Leo. Saturn is in its own sign of Aquarius. So rise to the challenge and do some big, important work to create a great kingdom in your life. Willingness to sacrifice. That's a winner for this week and even beyond. Also, Venus K2. Again, Venus is in its debilitated sign, but it's one of the least problematic debilitations because in Virgo, it just becomes very, a little bit fussy, a little neat and clean and picky, but at least it's grounded. So Venus and Virgo can be very precise, can be good at being creative. Um, and again, focusing on things that are not so romantic. But again, that romantic thing gets a little bit um, smashed, but it's greatly helped by Jupiter aspect on that Venus. So again, Venus isn't as bad, so that's another winner. The Jupiter aspect onto Venus is also quite good because Jupiter brings Guru's grace, higher wisdom into this process of feeling that kind of shattering of our happiness. Oh, I want this to make me happy. I want that to make me happy. Oh, it doesn't. Well, Jupiter's there going, and here's what it means. Here's the bigger picture. Find happiness in things that are more eternal, like, for example, teachings and gurus and higher wisdom and stuff like you're listening to me doing astrology. This stuff transforms your emotional, frankly, like immaturity, where we just want everything to make us happy all the time. Well, there's a higher purpose beyond just wanting to be happy. And Venus and Virgo, again, is kind of fussy. But Jupiter's there going, yeah, but come on, let's find a higher purpose in life. And again, maybe this video is even part of that higher purpose in life. And so the other one is also that Mars is aspecting this Venus also, which is empowering it and bringing energy. Mars is bringing energy to empower that Venus in uh, in uh, Virgo. So this whole pocket of energy here with Venus in Virgo is getting empowered. So those are four winners for the week. And you could even say Sun and Saturn are two winners because Saturn is powerful in Aquarius. Sun is powerful in Leo. They work on each other as a challenge. So that makes one big winner. Venus is in Virgo. Maybe it's not so turned on, but at least it's quite precise. Again, if you're like an artist or if you're a writer or anything like that, Venus and Virgo gives quite a lot of precision. And even joined K2 brings a lot of precision. So that could be a winner aspected by Jupiter, bringing Guru's grace and wisdom into it. Uh, also a winner. And again, I can say this very easily as someone who has Guru and spiritual practices and connects with that sublime, uplifting energy all the time through these practices. Many times when you get kind of shattered, externally it brings a kind of sweetness internally because you're like okay i realize i know i still am trying to make this world and the beauty of the world kind of work out to my fancy and it's and it says no it's not so it's like okay i'll do my spiritual practice okay and we're happy we do because now we can feel that grace flowing right that grace flows in when the ego desires fail and so that's a big winner. And then even the Mars bringing this aspect, because again, Mars is now, he just brings a lot of energy, right? And he energizes that thing. And he's energizing this Venus K2 in Virgo, bringing this discipline and focus, because again, Mars wants to destroy something. And again, his aspect on this Venus is trying to destroy that happiness. Now, again, you might say, how is that a winner? Mars trying to destroy our happiness because any happiness that can be destroyed was an actual happiness. Think about it. It was temporary pleasure or illusion 
the true happiness, like I'm talking even about the happiness that you get from Guru's grace or from nature, can that be destroyed? Can you destroy pure beauty? Like let's say even the love you have for your pets or the real beauty in life, the things that you find really beautiful, like me. <laughs> Could that ever be destroyed? No. The only happiness that gets destroyed is the illusion, right? So this is all that happens. Venus goes into Virgo and the illusion gets it's harder to prop up the illusion. And Mars is a big part of destroying it. So Mars gives the courage and the focus to destroy the illusion. And that can also be a big winner. So um, I hope this is helpful to hear. Please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell to get notified. And also, of course, leave a positive comment if this helped you. This is just a quick update because I don't like to just leave things feeling like they're just negative. And again, click like if this has also helped you because it really also helps to elevate the video. So we do, we have four big winners in this week as well, if we're willing to rise to the challenge. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel.